Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm a freshman in college, which is crazy to think about, but um, yeah, I'm going to talk about taking college level courses in high school because, um, you know, I just got out of high school, just graduated, and I know how tough it can be, um, especially with COVID going on, like this cannot be easy for you guys. I know it's totally different here, so, um, you know, <laughs> um, but even with, you know, all this going on, it's still really good to challenge yourself. So um, if you take college level courses, courses which I highly re recommend, um, these can be AP, IB. Um, I personally took ACE, which I believe is lesser known, but um, it's still like basically the same thing as AP and IB. Um, a lot of schools around the world accept AP, IB, etc. credits, but some might vary, like this institution might accept a score of three or higher on the AP exam, but another school might accept four or higher. It really depends <clears throat> on the school and what they accept for college credit. But um, you can take that into account when you apply to your schools, which is super stressful, but I mean, it's super fun <laughs> once it's over with. <laughs> but um, if you do take these AP, IB, etc. classes, it will look really good on college applications and your transcripts because it shows that you're really applying yourself. Like, you, no one's forcing you to take these classes. You're doing that on your own time, your own volition, and it shows that you're part of that, like, top-tier student body. Um, and a really good perk about these classes is that, like, for me personally, I, the ACE program at my school, it was sort of like a little community in itself. And these students, because, you know, we're of like a higher caliber and stuff, we like dedicate ourselves to our academics, but also we tended to be more like involved on campus and cl in clubs and things like that. So it was just a really good community to be a part of and it really influenced me in a positive way. Um, so if you do take these classes, that is another benefit. And also, of course, the college credits, which is why most people do it. Um, these college credits, so when you take the course on, um, in high school, when you go into college and the college accepts the credit that you took from your college level course, um, it can help you get out of some of your general education requirements in college. <clears throat> so for example, if you took IB Bio or AP Bio or whatever, in high school, you might not have to take your gen ed science class in college because you already have that science credit taken care of. And I know a lot of people, if they have a lot of college credits that they had in high school, they could even graduate early in college. And some other people, they have the option to do that, but instead they just, um, they stay and hang out and they take classes that pertain to their major or that they just find interesting because they got out of their, their gen eds before. So it just really like frees your schedule up with stuff that you don't really want to be doing and it lets you do stuff that you do want to be doing in college. Um, and that all sounds really great and peachy and fun, but how do you actually do it? Um, first off, make, make sure your school offers this program. Like my school, it only offered ACE. Our rival high school only offered IB. Well, actually no, they both had some AP stuff in there, but like Ours was mainly ACE, there was what is mainly IB. It really just depends on the school. Um, and I mean, they're both, they're all great programs. So uh, it's just good to find one that fits you because they each, they do have their little quirks and like different things. So just find one that fits you um, and one that your high school has. Um, and then make sure that you're capable of taking those courses. Um, so if you're like really stressed and you just like you can't take any more like you're You know COVID especially is making you super stressed out Don't feel like you need to take a bunch of college level courses You know if you want to do honors like that's fine do whatever you can handle at that moment don't um, Feel the need to do as much as other people are doing like if your friend is taking like five AP classes don't feel the need to compete with that because Everyone's on their own course. Um, 
And if you are able to take college level courses, awesome. I highly recommend it. That's what this whole video is about. Um, you probably won't have them in your freshman year because you're sort of getting your foot in the door. Um, you might have honors classes like I did, or I also had like prerequisite pre-ace classes. So I had like pre-ace bio, and then the next year I, I had um, ace bio. So it, it's sort of like a prerequisite for your high level courses. Um, it's sort of just getting your, you know, cause you are getting adjusted to the campus still and it, it's a big adjustment. Um, once you're in your sophomore year, things can kind of spice up a bit. Um, just make sure not to overextend yourself. So if that is a year when you start taking college level courses, like when I did, um, make sure to balance your schedule. So for example, I had three college level courses in my sophomore year and they were a bit, they were regarded as like tougher classes. So I balanced my schedule out to have some classes where it was like, just like ceramics, like, you know, just chilling and having a good time. Then my junior year, I had five ACE classes, but a lot of them, they were still tough and there were still some really hard ones in there, but um, a lot of them were a bit easier. Like we did a project and we just kind of like had this amount of time to do a project. And if we finished, we just got to do other homework and like things like that. So like they were, a bit more lax so my schedule even though it's like five ace classes that's crazy they were a bit of they were the easier ones so just make sure to balance out your schedule um and that sort of segues to my next point which is to stay organized when you have all these different classes and clubs going on and things like that you're going to need to stay organized. It really helps me to, let me get this out, have a planner. I write everything in here. So, I mean, digital things also work like Google Calendar and stuff like that, but actually writing it really helps me. But whatever you need to do to stay organized is really good. <laughs> um, also, make sure to study in increments. Please don't cram the day before the test. Like you're probably not gonna remember any of that stuff that you cram for. Studying like for a little bit every day really helps you remember it. And it, it'll make sure you don't just like dump out the information after your test and it'll help, it will help you retain it for the final exam for your like where you actually get the credit for the like the college credit. So like it helps. <laughs> Um, also, please do not procrastinate, like please, please, please. I've been pretty good about this throughout my high school career and so far in college. Um, I try and do like a little bit of work every day. Like I write down stuff that's due in the future so I know in my mind to work on it until then. Um, and whenever I have a bit of free time, I crank out a bit of work and things like that. And like, just please don't procrastinate. It's it's really bad. Um, and then on the day of the test, like not like some test in your class, but like the actual exam where you get the college credit and like everything is good. Um, hopefully you've studied, but like, you know, not so much that you're burnt out. Um, and the day before the test, much like the SAT, ACT, things like that, um, it's good to get a good night's sleep, eat a good dinner the night before, and have a good breakfast the day of. Um, you know, don't stress. Like, have fun. Like, it's really weird, but I look back on my ACE testing fondly, like, even though it's like, oh, testing. Um, it's still like, it's a fun memory, like, being with my friends and being like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed and blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's, um, you know, you can look back on it fondly and enjoyably, so, you know, just like do some jumping jacks, get the wiggles out. Uh, there's no need to stress, like it's just a test. Even if you don't do as well as you expected, like I know <laughs> I've been in instances like that. I mean, there are other opportunities to get other college credits, like you'll, you might ace another a AP exam. So like, you know, there's no need to stress, it's just life. Um, also, uh, just keep, the time in mind because some tests I took like went by like that and I'm like oh my gosh like I had to rush through everything so I mean you know overall just don't stress handle do the classes that you can handle um, 
And yeah, good luck in all your studies. <laughs> Bye.